Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the compressor in Audacity. This is going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step and explaining each of the parts in the steps. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you want to do is have a piece of audio on your timeline. In this case, I've recorded this small section and we're going to have a quick sample of what it is before any compressing. This is how the compressor works in Audacity. It's really cool and it makes the audio level on all sources. So as you can tell, I've recorded a couple different volume levels in this. So when we put it through the compressor, everything should be roughly equal and everything should sound a approximately at the same level. And that's really the main goal of a compressor. So what you want to do is select the part of the track that you want to use, or if you want to highlight the whole track, come to the left and click the box or click Control and A. We're going to be going to Effect and we're going to be coming to Compressor. Now the compressor can be a little bit intimidating, but we're mainly going to be focusing on the top three points for this actual compressor. We're mainly going to be focusing on the threshold, the noise floor and the ratio. The attack time, release time and the bottom two boxes I would recommend leaving as is by default in Audacity. Unless you really know what you're doing, for the most part you won't need to touch any of these things. But we're really going to be worrying about the threshold, the noise floor and the ratio. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is the threshold. The threshold is the level above which compression is applied to the audio. So that means anytime audio hits the threshold level that we have set here, it will be affected by the ratio number that we have set down below. So anytime audio hits a minus 12 decibel level, it's going to be affected by the ratio at a 2 to 1, which means it's going to be cut in half. And if we change the ratio around, we're going to be able to determine how much of a ratio is going to be applied to an audio once it hits this certain threshold. So if we play around our threshold slider, we can see that the line is going to be affected and moved as we move it because it's going to affect the actual cutoff point in the threshold area of our actual sound. So for now, we're going to be leaving this on minus 12 and we're going to be coming back to this later. But next, we're going to be talking about the noise floor. So the noise floor actually kind of represents the background noise of the audio. It's how much like low background noise hum is going to be on the audio. As you can tell, if we play around with this noise floor slider, it does not affect anything on our track. And like I said previously, the ratio is going to determine how much the audio is affected once it hits the threshold. So we're going to be playing around mainly with the threshold and the ratio in this case. As we can see, when I play around with the ratio, you can see how much of the audio is going to cut at a certain point. So if we bring it all the way to the top, it's going to have a sharp peak right up here. But if we bring it all the way down, it's going to be one to one that it's going to lose exactly what it's equal to. So it's a straight line down. So for this, we're going to be bringing our ratio to a two to one for default by now. And we're going to be leaving our threshold at minus 12. And we're going to be giving a quick preview to our actual sound. This is how the compressor works in Audacity. It's really cool and it makes the audio level on all sources. So our goal with this compressor is to make our audio sound level even though it's not actually level in the bass track. So the first thing we'll be doing is bringing our threshold sound back a bit to increase some of the lower sounds. We're going to be giving this a quick preview. This is how the compressor works in Audacity. It's really cool and it makes the audio level on all sources. So as you can tell, we instantly have more of the lower end sound in our track. What I'm going to be doing is increasing the ratio a little bit as some of the points it feels a little bit peaky. So I'm going to be increasing the ratio of a 2.8 to 1 just to test this out. I'm going to be giving this a quick preview. This is how the compressor works in Audacity. It's really cool and it makes the audio level on all sources. Now, I think we're just about there with this. The audio is just about level. It's a little bit off. So I'm bringing the threshold back a small little bit, maybe to about minus 34 decibels. Now, as I'm doing this, some of you may be confused. The compressor can be really intimidating in Audacity. Some of the other tools are a bit more intuitive, but this one's kind of confusing, even though it looks a bit simpler. Just play around with the graph, see what the sounds do, and see what effects you can come up with by playing with these dials. We're going to give you this another quick preview. This is how the compressor works in Audacity. It's really cool, and it makes the audio level on all sources. Now I'm pretty happy with this. The audio seems pretty level. The lower ends are a little bit lower than I would like, but that's pretty happy in this case. So as you can tell, we have some hissing and humming in the background. What we're going to be doing is taking the noise floor and increasing it just a little bit. We're going to be bringing it up to 35. But when you do this, we're going to see we're going to lose a little bit of sound at the lower end, but it is going to increase the actual overall quality of the audio, which is kind of what we're going to try to do with this desired result. This is how the compressor works in Audacity. It's really cool and it makes the audio level on all sources. So in this case, I actually like that effect. The audio is much more level. There's a little bit less humming and hawing in the background. Of course, this can go hand in hand if you want to remove background noise with Audacity. If you want to watch a video on that, click the card on screen. But in this case, I think it's okay as it's more of an example video. But this is kind of a nice way to compress your audio. And this is a little bit of trial and error. And once you're happy with your desired sound, simply click OK and your compressor will be added to your audio. 
But if you want to learn more about the compressor, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below if you want to read some more of that. If you want to learn some more cool things in Audacity, I'm going to leave in the top of the description down below a link to my Audacity playlist tutorial. I'm also going to leave a link in the description down below to my PayPal if you found this video helpful and you want to support me in the channel, then feel free. Of course, there's no pressure if you can't. If you want to suggest any tutorials I should make, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this story, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. Until next time, guys, as always. Keep it saucy. Peace.